Warning. This game contains content that might not be suitable for most audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. You have been told that the pastor of a church had suddenly passed away last night. As you helped with his wife's funeral not long ago, you were assigned to assist the pastor's funeral service today as well. And by the time the service comes to an end, What? The funeral is about to begin. All guests at the funeral, please find your way over to the seats. For all service attendants, please make sure to review the procedures of the ceremony thoroughly. Remember, everything must be perfect. What? There should be a written procedure for assistants to read somewhere near here. Praying to the heavens to help me not make any mistakes during the ceremony would be very helpful as well. Let us do this then. Oh god, are you telling me there's a chance for me to screw this up? I see that there's a note back here. I guess I can only read it from the front. Why can't I... Oh, okay, I'm just dumb. Funeral information memo. Huh. My guy! Yeah. And our nose bleak. Oh! Oh! God damn. When will I get used to this? Used to what? Have I bled like this before? The final event list is now difficult to read from it. Being covered by the blood? Uh, opening speech, prayers, chanting hymns, uh, wreath laying, and... Is, is that supposed to be resurrection? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Uh, clap when the candle goes out and a... A flower? That I'm pretty sure that's a like a lotus or something. You can press X to review your inventory. This is all preparation I need. I should start heading over to the front of the altar if I'm my assigned spot. Okay, uh, I should probably check. But partially burned photo. Don't forget. Uh, I am sorry, Lisa. Who's Lisa? Who is Lisa? Okay, uh, first is opening speech. Then prayers and chanting hymns. Okay, opening speech. A small frame painting depicting a holy angel. That is Lucifer. This frame is perfect. I should be able to pray to the- I don't think that's a good idea! How holy! I'm touched! May the heavens be with me to help me remember everything I need to know on this day. Okay, I guess Lucifer will save us. Oh, golly. Hi. That is concerning. Man, that, you know, I'm not too surprised at the fact that they're all staring at me. God, they're so freaking creepy. Okay, I have nowhere else I can go. Uh, anything I can do? Are they all just gonna stare at a strange voice? Suddenly, it starts to ring in your head. Do I want to know what the voices? Do I want to know what the voices are saying? Be not afraid, human. Uh, well, that was way too slow and dramatic for my taste. Yeah, I know. If I keep speaking like this, we'll be here all day. So you know what? Go. Be free. I will release you from this pain and start speaking normally. Give a huge round of applause for my thoughtfulness, everybody. Oh, and turn this weird background ambience off too. It's kind of killing the mood. Now that that's all out of the way. Can you hear my oh-so-friendly and soft voice that just makes your heart melt away from all the trustworthiness? Uh, I hear it loud and clear, my friend. Ah, how unexpectedly sweet of you. You actually think my voice sounds like that. Well, if you like my voice so much, I should never stop talking for you then. All right, from this point on, everything I say will be 
in fully written paragraphs. Be ready to read endless blocks of text, lady. No! No! God, no! Here we go. One, two. Yeah, I know, that was a joke. If you haven't already noticed. Yeah, how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you've heard my voice? All right, all right. Everybody gather around for the grand entrance of yours truly. Oh! Who is it? Am I supposed to be... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what the heck kind of entrance is that? Hi! God, like, you're a lot more dashing than I thought. I mean, like, I expected dashing, but I didn't expect you. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, aren't you too disappointed? What, did you expect me to be more holy looking? Ah, oh, come on. Chin up now. No one besides me even wanted to come and try and meet you. I personally came to help you out since I'm super nice and proper like that. You should be grateful, lady! Before we start getting attached to each other, I need you to answer something for me first. Surprise quiz! Guess what I'm supposed to be. Feel free to answer however you like. You're not getting punished or anything. I'm just an illusion in your head. How could I ever hurt you? Yeah, that doesn't mean I want to hurt you. If I could, by the way. So don't start assuming I'm evil just yet. Uh, demon, human, god. Uh, demon. You're, you're a demon. Oh, wasn't well, that obvious? <laughs> That's right. I'm the meanest and rottenest demon there is. Growl, bark, give me your body. I will devour your soul. You thought I'd say things like that. Seriously? What made you think I'm a demon in the first place? I only asked if you could hear me. Do you not see this holy light shining from above me upon my graceful entrance? I'm an angel. That's right. An angel. Well, guardian angel to be more specific. You know, the ones that get assigned to a specific human and look after them so they don't die. I think we're also called the silent protector sometimes. Don't call me that. Too pretentious of a title, don't you think? So just call me by my name. It's Forkas. Anyway, I believe this is the point where you're starting to wonder. Why is this suspicious angel reeking of old man energy suddenly talking to me? Why does he talk like that? His characterization sucks. What? Am I not allowed to talk to people when I'm bored? Are you saying angels should shut up and only stand around looking pretty? I didn't say anything. Oh, well, I'm not here because I'm bored anyway. I'm here for business. The human I've been assigned to look over got tied up with his obviously suspicious church. That would be really convenient for me if someone who's already on the side were to help me. Lady, how about we make a deal? Huh. Alright, what I just said. Sounds a lot like I'm supposed to be something else that's not an angel. But like I told you before and telling you again now, I am a 100% pure angel. Don't forget that. Anyway, you'll even get a prize if you do your part well. It's drum rolls, please. Ta-da! Me- Hey, I, I get- Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's not an angel. Yet maybe was an angel, but definitely not considering like the imagery we saw before. Youch, aren't you being too harsh? Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to be a How can you even act like that around me? I'm a very serious and graceful angel, you know? You still don't get why me being around you will be the best thing that'll ever happen to you? Listen here, I'm a guardian angel, yeah? Think of everything guardian angels can do for the human. You'll never get hurt. All troubling things in your life, poof, gone. How useful is that? Well, how about it? Free need, eh? Isn't that your responsibility in the first place? I'm doing you a favor. You aren't my original responsibility, kid. Never mind! What I mean is, yeah, that's my job, but I'll upgrade those perks by 11. Like a bonus package. Guardian Angel Premium, you could say. What do you even want? 
What I want is fairly simple. No matter what happens, I want you to focus and finish today's funeral perfectly, all the way from start to finish. Uh, I can do that. I was already going to do that. I don't want to. I can do that. Now that's a 10 plus like ability point worthy answer. Oh, and don't forget. Never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. You know, he's too hard for me to say no. <laughs> was it too specific? Are you suspicious of me now? Yeah, I don't suspect you at all. I, I'll still trust you. You sure you're not a demon? I don't suspect you at all. How unexpected. Are you a people pleaser or something? No, no, no. I just I just like getting myself into incredibly dangerous situations. You should be more suspicious of people than that. I'm afraid you'll get into some serious scam one day, lady. Well, of course you can trust me, but don't go around trusting anyone. You see that easily. This old angel is pretty concerned for your future. I do want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. But you know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We cannot let humans know what kind of crises or problems they're going to face directly. Boss isn't much of a fan of the classic showing illusions to warn what's about to come method anymore. Didn't really like the idea when I proposed to meet you this way, but, you know, since I'm a nice angel, I begged and begged. So here I am. This is as good as it gets. Meaning I can only help you get through fake lessons and never the direct answer. You must figure out the rest on your own and overcome it. And alright, it sucks. I'm basically some kind of pet rather than an actual assistant. But I guess it's fair. Characters with know-it-all mentor positions like me are supposed to be enigmatic after all, else we won't be popular. Anyway, since I've eaten up a lot of your time, I'll let you go for now. If you want to talk to me again, come find me. Ah, how about this? If you find yourself stuck or clueless, just set up a prayer and I'll come right down. Good luck, lady. I'll be cheering you on. Remember my words. I'm on your side. Y'all do know that my side is not on this church, right? Ugh. I can't believe I let a strange voice distract me. I need to focus and go to my side spot. Where was that again? Why do I feel like I've been forgetting things more often lately? Even now, I feel that I'm missing something very important. But now I'll just use the other assistants as an example and figure something out. Uh, I should probably check my inventory. Don't forget, uh... And I'm supposed to check the back. Lisa. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, hi. Yeah, like, I don't think I got a space there. Or here, for that matter. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Aha! Yeah, I'm supposed to set. Why is there a statue here? You hear sounds of something breathing heavily from inside a cage. You can't see what's inside due to it being covered by a black cloth. Sister! 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 Yo, what about you guys? Yep, still staring at me ominously. What's on- wait, what, what's on these? A bundle of candles are yet to be lit. It's okay. What about you guys? Still staring at me. Yeah, that's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, wait, this isn't this my spot? This should be my assigned spot. Right next to the ominous obelisk? What's well, not obelisk, the ominous cage! We will now begin the funeral service. First of all, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to everyone who gathered here today. Ella, after his wife passed, our pastor has followed behind her footsteps. Everyone, this is not going to be a sad... This is not a thing to be sad about. As the faithful servants of the Lord has told us before, our pastor will never abandon us, even after death. At this moment, the pastor is very happy to see how many followers of his have gathered for him. It's like how his wife has yet to leave and been protecting us. The pastor will do the same and take care of all of us. Let us all pray in appreciation of his kindness and thoughtfulness. Hello? Please, look this way. Hey, anyone? A voice is coming from inside the iron cage, covered by the black cloth. Do I want to know? Is anyone there? Please, someone, help me. So scared. Hell. Uh, the devil told me not to help, so I'm just going to ignore 
in this whole situation. I should have saved right before this. Frick. Uh, I will ignore it. I went to look. I'm so curious, Frick. I will ignore it. I swear she looked towards my direction. Please don't ignore me. Please help. Even if it isn't now, just once, please talk to me. What the frick? There are eyes in there. It is time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is prayers, yeah? Yeah. There's a drawn symbol of hands put together and a candle in the memo. How should I go about this? Uh, okay, I guess, uh, I light the candles. I, uh, do I light the candles? What do I, what, uh, what do I do? I will check the memo. Uh, okay, now it's prayers, prayers, just thoughts and prayers. That's all there is. Uh, prayers equals wave off the candles. Are there any candles that are yet to be lit? Oh my God, I don't know. Wait, 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 what, what, what about back here? What about back here? Uh, what about this? No, this a stack of religious books. Verse of the day. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil. Yet they drawn swords. Psalm 55, um, 21. Study of angels. Angels are trustworthy servants of the Lord. They obey the Lord unconditionally, prioritizing any task given to him. They were created only to act according to the will of the Lord. The voice of an angel is very sacred, soft, and most importantly, incredibly persuasive. Therefore, it is natural for the Lord's followers to believe the angel's words unconditionally, as to follow them to receive words and blessings of the Lord through them. I have a feeling that's not supposed to be normal. Like, just a hint. Of course I need this to light up the candles. What? Ah, uh, were my footsteps always this loud? Oops, was the audio too over the top? It's me, lady! It's, it's me! See? It's me! Your friendly neighborhood guardian angel. Uh... Forecast. Congrats! You got it! That's an A-plus serve just for you! You surprised me! This is being the loud footsteps just now was... An auditory hallucination played by me. Ah, don't look so annoyed. You see, I pulled it off just to mess with you. I mean, it was pretty hilarious seeing you about to bawl your eyes out. You're right, right? Sorry. The people here are pretty obsessed with everything being perfect, huh? Even a single mistake could make them think you ruined their entire parade. For example, you making a noise when they're going at it during the hardcore praying session. They'll hear your footsteps. The same volume as how I played it to you. Or hey, maybe, maybe even worse. <laughs> They'll think it's as loud as they sounded the entire building collapsing down. Anyways, long story short, what you stand. Well, that's enough life lessons from me. Good luck, lady! You're killing it so far! Give me watch my steps. He definitely did that just to mess with me. What the frick? Ah! Watch my step. Ah! The people are praying. My footsteps will be covered by their voices. Which means they won't notice me. I need to light all the candles without drawing attention to myself. Okay. Okay, they're no longer praying. I gotta wait. God, this is horrifying! Okay, okay. Just gotta chill. Holy frick. Okay! Okay! Oh my god, this is... Oh, okay, I just need to chill! Okay! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, next one. Come on. Oh, just a little more! Come on, come on! Amen. Thank you everyone for your sincere prayers and for muffling the sound of my footsteps. <sighs> I thought that's out of the way. 
Next procedure will sure to begin soon. I should return to my spot and think over what I should do next. Uh, what am I supposed to do next? What am I supposed to do? Uh, next is chanting hymns. Wreath. Way. Uh, okay, my name is Lisa, apparently. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Why? I don't know what's with a question mark. Oh, frick. Um, oh. Okay, okay. They're not, they're not bothering me right now. So that's, that's good. That's good. Holy frick. Let us now sing praise of blessing for the pastor, his wife, and us, the remaining followers of the church and our future. To make the preparations for the next procedure easy, all guests, please take out your chrysanthemums you were asked to prepare and hold them up as we all sing. What? Uh, the nun from earlier. Here! Over here! You... You came back. I was worried. Something might have happened to you. Please. I noticed that there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. Seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please help me figure this out. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> no, please. What do I have to do to make you look my way? Help. I don't know what they're playing do to me. Help me, please. Someone help. Sister. It's time for the next procedure. I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. Next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so... Does that mean I should check the flowers first? Well, I'm pretty curious if everyone did bring their chrysanthemums or not. I should take a look around for that. And the person in cage said something about a passcode. Is there something of numbers on it in this church in the first place? We're ready to report already? Apologies, but there must be something you missed. Could you take a look around again? Uh, okay, did you all bring your chrysanthemums? Uh, okay, that's four. Uh, okay. Okay, that's four. All right, that's eight altogether. I don't know what the chrysanthemums mean. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, 12. Alright, that's, uh, 16. 16. Okay, 20. 20 chrysanthemums. Okay, you also got 4 chrysanthemums, so that makes 24. Uh, what? One of them's missing. 24. Oh, 27. 27. Oh. One follower suddenly grabbed your Hey! What the frick? Sir? I... I swear... I brought it! Please believe me, I didn't bring it! You need to believe me! It was right there next to me. It was right there until just a moment ago. Sorry. I'm sorry! Don't make a mistake next time! Please don't report me! What do I do? To tell the truth, Olai encountered chrysanthemum as if it was there. I will report the truth! God, oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, wait, hang on. Uh, wait, this was the one where it's missing, right? Other followers are now glaring at the person who pleaded to you earlier. Uh, seven. Okay. Okay, y'all brought your chrysanthemums. Okay, eight. Okay, eight minus one. Okay, nine. Okay, nine of them. 10, so that's 40, 39, 39 plus 4, that would be 43, 43, 47, that's 47 altogether right there. All right, Sista, Sista. Sir, why do you look so surprised? It's me. How about it? You miss me. I'm not here to mess with you again, so don't give me the dot 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 just yet. I just want to let you know that I'm, well, proud of you. Share you some good news too, you know. Your trial is about to end soon. I know you must have been in doubt a lot during this whole thing, but 
You're doing great. Just keep going at it. Like how you've been going and you'll be fine. Wish you my luck till the end, lady. Thank you for putting your faith in me. I'm pretty sure I'm doing the exact wrong- like, I'm doing everything wrong. In my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are there on the left? Wait! Wait, 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 wait! No, wait! On your left! Oh, okay, okay, so 47... Okay, 48 divided by 2. 48 divided by 2 would be, uh... Okay, that's, that'll be 24. Okay, 24. Confirmed. My perspective, how many chrysanthemums are there on the right? 23. Ma'am! Are you sure? Yeah. This means someone didn't prepare the flower. Confirmed. Well done. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Will I go check if there are any leftover chrysanthemums to use instead? The ceremony must be perfect. Please return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Ma'am, you you spooky! You absolutely spooky! What? No matter what happens, I came this far. I must make it through to the end. I need to put my faith in the guardian angel. If the followers carefully give up their flowers in front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin, we mark the end of today's funeral service. And now... Wait! Why is it red? We continue with the POSSESSION RITUAL?! Of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto the new body, must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up onto the altar. <laughs> no! So you were just yet another cultist after all? Please, how can you do this to another person? I am a person, not a sacrifice! Help! I said help! Get away from me! I, I won't move an inch! And he dragged him out somehow. How? 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 Continuously press the- Ah! Oh, Frick! Wait, wait, what, what, what did I say? I did not read it! Just stop! Get out of here already! What? Why? Why are you smiling? Congratulations, ma'am. She passed the test! As it was expected. I mean, the wife of our wise pastor would never fall for a cheap trick like this. We apologize for suddenly making you go through this fake funeral. It's just that you weren't acting like, well, yourself lately. We were worried that the ritual earlier wasn't completed properly. We thought we'd have to do it again. Please forgive us for ever suspecting you, ma'am. But at least we are absolutely sure now. The angel who blessed us with the power of resurrection, they were right. It's her, the beloved wife of our pastor, who truly has come back to life. What? Congratulations. You have no idea what's going on, do you? First off, relax. I'm not on the same side as those cultists. Since you passed the trial, I think I can tell you now. Finally, I was going crazy trying not to spoil anything to you this whole time. You know how angels can fall from grace, yeah? You must typically think that when an angel falls, they immediately become a demon. But that isn't always the case. Most fallen angels feel the sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once. So sometimes they obsess over maintaining the image of being holy and powerful, even after their corruption. If they are banished from heaven and they choose not to go to hell, where do you think they end up? That's right, the world of humans. Now, when angels descend to Earth, we can't let our true forms be seen, so we are given a vessel from God to possess, so that we can use them to appear and exist alongside humans without harming them. But that's the case for angels who are still on the job. What about the fallen? God immediately doesn't want anything to do with them, so naturally, their originally assigned vessels are taken away from them too. Then how can they exist on Earth? The answer is obvious if you think about it. They steal a living human's body, targeting those who are desperate, targeting those who are unstable, targeting those who are lost. That will be your salvation. Just let me into your mind. I will bring your loved ones back to life 
Sacrifice me a body of a person, and I will let your loved one take it over instead. Using their angelic voices, they convinced those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over. And when they wake up, well, they put on an act, as if they are whoever that was the original host of the human body, or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives that way. That's right, you. Just like how you and that girl's body are playing your part as the beloved wife of the pastor who miraculously came back to life. Who knew an angel could go so low enough to take over the human they were supposed to look after? You disgust me. Everyone else said you were a lost cause, but I could feel it. You're human. She's somehow still conscious, even after you've possessed her. And if you two were spiritually fighting inside on who gets to control the body, if you failed to complete the funeral service today, these people would have performed yet another ritual on your body. Thinking that the one from last time during the wife's funeral wasn't completed properly, then the original host, Angelica, would have been completely erased. That's why I insist... That's why I incited her to follow along, to trick them into thinking she's on their side. That way, even if it isn't now, but slowly and carefully, guide Angelica to her salvation. Even if you are the host now, Angelica will gain back control. How do I know? The fact that you listen to me is enough proof. I'm sorry, Angelica. It will be painful, but until the day I can properly salvage you, you must persevere. Until then... What? Until then what? What? Music changed. Oh. That, that can't be the only ending. That's, there's too many things going on here. Ah, oh, frick. I need to go back and see how I can actually get the other endings. Apparently I missed this before. There is a list of holy names. A. Abigail, meaning joy of God. Anna, meaning God's grace of, or favor. Angelica, meaning the messenger of God, angel. Uh, okay, what about C? Caitlin, pure, purity. Celeste, daughter of heaven. Krista, meaning follower. Okay, what about E? Eden, meaning paradise, place of delight. Elizabeth, promise from God. God is my oath. Eve, meaning life. Okay, what about study of angels too? The true appearance of an angel is impossible to describe with the use of human tongue. Human beings who see their original form will have their minds broken, their flesh burned, eventually lead to their death due to their overwhelmingly holy presence. Therefore, an angel communicate with humans. They must appear as an acceptable illusion or in a vessel that a human mind can comprehend. Those angels choose to appear in the form of animals or humans. The vessel of an angel in the human world is gifted by the Lord. However, this privilege is no longer given after the fall of an angel. Angels who have fallen have their vessels taken and are banished from heaven without having an acceptable form to properly exist in our world. Hmm. I don't know what to make of all this. Okay, that was a picture of Lucifer. Okay, and he still looks like, um... He still looks beautiful as heck. Metal candle holder. It seems like there's no need to use it at the moment. What about this? Nah, nothing about that. I do want to, like, take another closer look at this. Lisa. I don't know what's up with the name Lisa. Don't forget. I think the whole deal is that I'm supposed to be Lisa. That's probably the deal. Eh, we'll skip ahead. All right, I'm just gonna be rude to the goddamn angel, cause why not? You don't have the kind of voice. Ouch! Ow! Ow! My heart! My sad, fragile heart! It's... It's... Not being broken. What I just said was just a uh, part of a silly bit. To make you loosen up, so I didn't expect much, but... You don't have to be so cold towards me, yeah? I'm friendly, promise. Anyway, it's nice to know that you can hear me. Now, how about it? Aren't you curious on how I look now that you've heard my voice? Let's skip. All right, so he's asking me to, like, complete the funeral, like, just perfectly, and I'm just gonna say, I don't want to. 
<laughs> you don't have to be friends with me, lady. I don't really care. You hear me when I say, never think about escaping or helping someone. Ignore them. Focus only on what you're doing. Yeah, was that too specific? Are you suspicious on me now? Um, uh, you sure you're not a demon? How much more do I have to make myself clear on the topic, lady? Do you even realize how much likability points from me to you have been dropping so far? I do want to make you trust me from the get-go, believe me. You know how it is. The boss upstairs is pretty strict about this kind of thing. Listen, all angels have rules we must follow. We can't let humans know what kind of crises or problems they're going to be facing directly. Buzz isn't much of a fan of a classic showing illusions to warn what's to come anymore, and we're just gonna skip ahead. Alright, so the funeral has started. I'm gonna look at the cage. I? Did, did you just look towards me? Yeah, you did. You saw me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for looking at me. No one else even bothered to look. You were the first to respond. Does this mean you're different from the others? Please, tell me you're different. Yes, yeah, I'm different. Does that mean you're also being held hostage here? Yeah, it's terrifying. Are you okay? Let's escape together. If you help me, I promise. Help, I promise to keep you safe. He, he told me I was going to play an important role during today's ceremony. They're obviously planning something bad. Something bad is going to happen to me. So please... Do something! <laughs> Behind you! Hi! Sister! Sister! It's time for the next procedure. Whatever is happening, I need to focus on progressing the funeral for now. The next event is... Prayers, yeah? Yeah. There's a drawn symbol of hands put together in a candle on a memo. How should I go about this? We all know how this goes. Like, this is incredibly tedious. You're not gonna see what happens. Also, I lied. You're gonna see what happens uh, if I, like, screw up my steps. Hi! <laughs> it's just a game over screen. What the heck? You. You came back. I was worried something might have happened to you. Please, I noticed there's a lock on the cage with a passcode. Seems like you need to enter four numbers. Please, help me figure this out. I will look. Hey, sir. Please, open us up fast. Something bad is gonna happen to me at the end of the funeral. I can feel it. Wait, don't tell me. You don't know the passcode? Then, do you know anyone around here that would know about it? I don't want to die here. Please, don't let me die here. You need to be more quiet or they'll... Hi, sister. How's it going? It's time for the next procedure. Ask about a passcode. Passcode? I believe every assistant has already been informed of it. Why are you asking now? Flirt? Why not? <laughs> Take this! Tell me the passcode beam! CV. C CV? I need to stay calm, especially at a time like this. Next procedure. There's a musical note next to a flower and a list of numbers. Since it's hard to tell what the numbers mean yet, so... Did I screw that up? It means I should check the flowers first. Well, I'm pretty curious. If everyone did bring their chrysanthemums or not, we should take a look around for that. And the person who cage said something about a passcode. Is there something with numbers on it in this church in the first place? Uh, I don't know where the passcode is. God damn it. What would there... CV Church's altar. Now this looks familiar. It's like a stone made bed. Don't want to actually lie on it, however. Uh, but what would have what would have the code? A coffin where the pastor lies. Yeah, the pastor's chest move up and down just now. Must have been my imagination. Wait a minute. That means the pastor is still alive. CV, what does CV mean? I don't know. God, I don't know if the nun will actually tell me what the code is. Ma'am, ma'am. Frick, what, what would, why would it be? CV, wait, what about the Bible? What about goddamn Bible? What, what was it? Uh, okay, stack of religious books, verse of the day. Uh, la -dee -da -dee -dee. we've already read it. Wait, 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 I, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, uh, Psalm... 
5521. It could be that. It could be 5521. But I don't want to save. Freck. Freck. Okay. Uh, CV. Okay. Caitlyn. Celeste. Krista. I don't know. 55. Wait, 55 what? 55 something. Second like religious bucks. Uh, I need to remember what it was. 5521. I don't know what 5521. I don't know if that's the right one, but whatever. Uh, okay, if I recall. Um, okay, there's one dude that did not bring his flower. And that's you. Yep, that's you. Yep, yep, whatever, whatever. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna snitch on him this time. Like it's all good. I swear I brought it, la dee dee dee. I I won't report you. I yep I'll I'll lie and say that the chrysanthemum was there. Like that's what I'll do. Yo, sister. What do you look so surprised? It's me. Hmm. Don't think now is the time for jokes if that's what you were waiting for me. Let me just get straight to the point. Lady. You're not listening to me. What did I tell you? No matter what happens, no matter what someone says, mind your own business. Why do I feel like you haven't been doing that? I'm wrong, right? Tell me, it's just a misunderstanding. I didn't want to be the mean guy here, but... Huh. You just aren't listening to me. Don't you know that angels can be more terrifying than demons? Oh, it's a biblically accurate angel. Listen carefully. You are in a very dangerous situation, understand? I am still bleeding! As soon as you were faced with a quick flash of an angel's true form, you started feeling like every ounce of blood in your body was about to pour out from your eyes and nose. Duh. Do as you are told. I'm not! Okay. From my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are there on the left? Uh, 24. Confirmed. From my perspective, how many chrysanthemums are there on the right? 24. Yes, ma'am? Are you sure? Yes. Confirmed. I must leave for a short while to quickly check something. You may return to your spot and wait for further instructions. Okay. Oh, I am so screwed. I am so screwed. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Suspicious. Everything is suspicious. That angel. This whole funeral. Why did they cage a person like that? I can't just stand here and let that happen. Not only that, if I continue to stay here, who knows what might happen to me as well. I made up my mind. Let's just open the lock while the nun is away and I can. Put the followers carefully, giving up their flowers in front of the altar onto the pastor's coffin. We mark the end of today's funeral service. And now. Oh boy! Can I open it now? We continue with the possession ritual of the pastor's soul to merge with a sacrificial body for his resurrection. We thank the holy angel who has prepared a lovely body to be passed on to the pastor today. For the pastor's soul to easily find his way onto a new body, we must first drag the sacrifice out of the cage and lie them up on an altar. Ooh, boy, uh, here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew something bad was waiting for me. What a human sacrifice. That's insane. Please open this cage. Let's escape this place together. Lock of the cage. Phone number, passcode. Need to enter it. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, five, uh, five, five, uh, 21. The cage is now open. It's open! Run! Why? Why aren't you running? If we stay here, they'll... It's truly a shame you chose to run away. I can't believe this. That's... That's not her! That's not a pastor's wife! What we feared became reality. The ritual during her funeral didn't work. I knew that woman was acting off lately. I think we tested her. We're now sure of her state. Hey. You don't have much time left. I think I can let you know now. You know how angels can fall, yeah? Not all fallen angels become a demon. 
Many of them feel a sense of superiority from the fact that they were an angel once and tried to remain holy. So they wander around the human world since they can't go to neither heaven nor hell. Angels, when we descend, we need to hide our true form, so we are a vessel aside from God to possess. But if you fall, you lose that vessel. Remember how I said fallen angels roam around the human world? But how can they, when they don't have a vessel? They still a living human's body, targeting those who are desperate, targeting those who are unstable, targeting those who are lost. I will be your salvation. Just let me in your mind. I will bring your loved ones back to life. Sacrifice me a body of a person. I will let your loved one take over it instead. Using their angelic voices, they convince those people to perform a ritual and possess their body before completely taking over the mind. And when they wake up, well, they put up an act as if they were whoever that was the original host of the human body or the loved one that was brought back to life and lives on that way. You probably already know where I'm headed with this. Did I win? Just like how the fallen angel possessing you is acting as the wife of the pastor came back to life. But somehow, he continuously showed signs of consciousness even after the possession. The people of the church noticed something was off and they became suspicious. So they set up this fake funeral to observe how you behave. This was both a test and a trap. To see if you listen or not. To see if you are the wise and faithful woman of the church they know and adore. That's why I asked you to do what they want for now. So I made the wrong choice here? I had to send there and help you, but they aren't letting me go down. They're saying that our actions have consequences. It's you who didn't listen, and now you must pay the price. Even when you're still alive, even when you're still asking for help. You were just confused. But you only did what you thought was best. How merciful of them, huh? I'm sorry. Then where did the wife's soul go? How do we bring her back? We must perform the ritual again, so that possession can be properly completed. Quick, grab her! We need to kill her mind, so that she won't ever wake up again. Give us your body. It's for the peace of the church! A joke! Yeah! This was all a joke! It's, it's me! I'm her! I'm the pastor's wife! Don't you recognize me? Please, believe me. I'm the person you all know and love, so... So... Please, just let me be! This is horrifying. And I think that's like kind of understating it. Anyway, that was Eloquent Countenance. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. Gosh darn it, that was an incredibly grim story and I absolutely loved it. I loved um, how like forecast was actually portrayed and oh, this is a story that really, really unsettles me and I absolutely adore it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and uh, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion signing off. Ciao.